floor is Jim Harbaugh's worst season at Michigan during a full season, and that came in 2017. The voice of college football Michigan looking at the Wolverines' opponents for 2021 and the probabilities that they will win each one of these games. Please like the video. That helps us build the channel along with uh, sharing the videos out on social media. If you enjoy the content, others will as well. And, of course, subscribe here to our Michigan channel. All right. Best win probability for Michigan coming up in 2021 would be Northern Illinois, a team that went 0-6 in the MAC last year. The Huskies have been um, one of the top programs in the MAC for a long, long time, but have fallen on hard times in recent years. Again, six winless games in 2020, five and seven the year before, give Michigan a 96% chance of defeating NIU. Western Michigan comes to the big house for the opener of the 2021 season. Western Michigan at 4-2 and two in the MAC last year, 7-6 and six in the last uh, full season, 7-6 and six including a bowl loss to Western Kentucky, 23-20 in the first responder bowl. Western Michigan, the Broncos, and the Wolverines give Michigan a 93% chance of winning that one. All right, the Big Ten opener for Michigan and Rutgers comes on September 25th, another home game as Michigan opens the season with four consecutive games at home. Rutgers only 3-6 and six last year, but its best record in a long time because they were riding a 21-game losing streak in the Big Ten before defeating Michigan State in the opener, Rutgers finishing again 3-6 and six in Greg Schiano's second stint at Rutgers, 2-10 and 10 the year before. Cade McDonough. Uh, McNamara had to save the Wolverines last uh, game against Rutgers in Piscataway in 2020, three overtime effort. Michigan got down 21, nothing and McNamara came in and threw four touchdown passes as Michigan escaped. Give the Wolverines a 86% chance of defeating Rutgers on September 25th. All right. Now the game against Sparty. Michigan State came into the big house last year, pulled off the upset in defeating Michigan in Mel Tucker's first Big Ten win. And this time, Michigan goes to Michigan State. But there won't be a Rocky Lombardi to have to deal with. Uh, he is transferred out of East Lansing, but he bombed the Wolverines in a 27-24 Michigan State win. Uh, Sparty was 2-5 and five last year, 7-6 and six in Mark D'Antonio's final season in 2019. That game on October 3rd, give Michigan a 72% of a chance of winning on the road in East Lansing. Next up, we look at the game against Maryland. Maryland finished at 2-3 and three last season, 4-8 and eight the previous season. This game late in the year, just prior to the game on November 20th, Michigan goes to Maryland, give the Wolverines a 70% chance of defeating the Terps. On to the Nebraska-Michigan matchup. This one in Lincoln comes on October 9th. The Huskers are looking at three consecutive losing seasons under Scott Frost. Three and five last year, five and seven the previous year. Again, Michigan at Nebraska on October 10th. And give the Wolverines a 63% chance of defeating the Huskers. Now comes the big non-conference game of the season. It was to be played in Seattle in 2020, wiped out by the pandemic. The Huskies return the trip to Ann Arbor. They'll see the two schools, whether they will make up the game in Michigan. Uh, the Huskies coming off uh, a very sparse season. Michigan only played six games last year. Washington only played four. They went three and one. You may recall that they actually finished in first place in the Pac-12 North Division. Should have played in the Pac-12 uh, Championship game but because of the pandemic and COVID testing, we're not able to play in the Pac-12 championship game. Huskies 3-1 and one under uh, Jimmy Lake in his first season. 8-5 and five in Chris Peterson's final season the year before. Good matchup between the Pac-12 and the Big Ten. Give Michigan a 61% chance of defeating Washington at home at the Big House in Week 2. Northwestern has appeared in two of three Big Ten Championships games in 2018 and in 2020, taking on Ohio State. The Wildcats have overachieved almost annually under Pat Fitzgerald. And uh, Northwestern, though, had a down season two years ago with 3-9, and nine, rebounded again at 7-2 and two 
including a bowl victory against Auburn last year. That game, Michigan-Northwestern, October 23rd, on the road for Michigan. And I am giving the Wolverines a 54% chance of defeating Northwestern on the road. <clears throat> All right, Indiana had not defeated Michigan since 1987, but they pulled off the win in Bloomington in 2020. 38-21 Indiana coming off a stellar 6-2 and two campaign. They did lose their bowl effort against uh, Ole Miss. The Hoosiers had 8-5 and five the previous season with the Gator Bowl uh, loss to Tennessee. Indiana travels to Michigan on November 6th. Give the Wolverines a 47% chance of defeating Indiana at home. Penn State, Michigan have typically traded home wins for the most part during the Jim Harbaugh era. The last year's game in 2020 was a game at Penn State. Cade McNamara got hurt, hurt his shoulder in that game, which proved to be Michigan's last game of the season. Penn State won 27-17. The Nittany Lions, of course, with the down season in 2020, losing their first five games before rebounding with a 4-5 and five finish. And Penn State 11-2 the previous season with a Cotton Bowl victory and top 10 finish as has been the custom for Penn State, typically since 2016, finishing in the top 10, 10 or 11 wins for the Nittany Lions. Penn State going to Michigan on November 13th, give Michigan a 37% chance of winning that game against Penn State. Michigan has been blasted by Wisconsin, just completely embarrassed the last two times out against the Badgers. They lost last year's affair 49-11 to at the Big House. And 35-14 to 14 the year before in Madison, a game that wasn't even that close as the Badgers and Jonathan Taylor raced out to a 28 to nothing lead on Michigan before again winning, coasting to a win 35-14. to 14. Wisconsin takes on Michigan in Camp Randall Stadium October 2nd. Give Michigan a 30% chance of going to Camp Randall and pulling out the win against the Badgers. And finally, of course, the nemesis, the game, one of the great uh, traditions in college football and all of sports, but it's become a runaway for the Buckeyes. Michigan last defeated Ohio State at the Big House in 2011. Denard Robinson at quarterback. Of course, Brady Hoke on the sideline against not Urban Meyer, not Jim Tressel. The year between Luke Fickle in 2011 when the Buckeyes finished 6-7. and seven. Michigan, Ohio State play at the Big House. On November 27th, the Buckeyes have embarrassed Michigan two consecutive meetings, 56-27 and 62-39. Give Michigan a 10% chance of defeating Ohio State in this matchup. <clears throat> Michigan and its worst record under Jim Harbaugh, 8-4 in 2017 with a bowl loss to South Carolina to finish up at 8-5 and, and, of course, coming off a 2-4 and four campaign this past season. Your thoughts about Michigan football, your thoughts about our game probabilities as we listed them game by game from um, the, the biggest win percentage probability against Northern Illinois at 96% all the way down to the matchup against the Buckeyes on the final day of the season. Again, subscribe to our Michigan channel and we will see you soon.